uh, just looking at the different accounts we've managed and trying to find if there's some correlation between the different accounts we've worked on, the kind of results we've gotten. And one key thing that uh, maybe stood out for me was there's sometimes that you, you try and figure out why you're getting a lot of likes, but probably very little conversions. And even if you try and improve every aspect of your ads, nothing seems to change. And it's gotten to a point where it's actually a huge question, even for most marketers online, whereby you find yourself asking, why am I getting so many likes, but probably very few conversions for the same kind of ad campaigners, maybe the ones that get you the best results online. So some of the things that beyond the ad relevancy, you know, how you target your audience, who is seeing your ads, beyond what you can actually control, I believe there are two key factors that are probably not discussed as much, but they could be something that is probably limiting the, the performance of your account, uh, especially your ad account on Facebook. And a few of the ideas that I was exploring was, what is your ad account history? I mean, what have you been doing on your ad account that could be contributing to the poor performance? And one of the many, many things I have seen pop out on very different accounts is a lot of people tend to ignore the fact that you have to keep on managing the the audiences on your account, whereby you have to keep on responding to questions, you have to keep answering comments, you have to, you can't let the engagement uh, on your campaigns just, you know, wait until the campaign is over. You have to actively do it all the time. And the key idea here is you have to balance uh, let me call it between positive and negative uh, engagement on all your campaigns, whether it's social media campaigns or just regular ad buys. So what I'm trying to get to here is you really need to balance. When people write you a comment, you write them back. When people write a review, you, you write them back. Sometimes those reviews are very insightful and you have to follow up. So another idea is there's also one relation whereby when you run ads and your maybe your payments keep bouncing, that's another red flag. And it's not really talked about, but it's known that that's a metric that can lead to penalization in your ad account. And from there, you notice that the ad performance just tanks. No matter what you do, you revise the creative, you change the, the language, you, you improve the content tenfold. Nothing changes on the results. And it's something that really can be heartbreaking, especially when you invest a lot of time and resources into making sure the the ad is like top notch because you'll find that the relevance is maybe nine even ten sometimes but you're getting more likes you're getting you know engagement is good but very few conversions and the key thing here is you're just getting type b audiences you're not getting type a audiences and those are the kind of audiences that are very interested in you know conversions they're the ones who when they see your ad they react or they make they, they click on the call to action button they take the desired action most of the time if not all the time so here in this instance you're probably getting the audience that they like the kind of content you're putting out but they they're not really interested in buying and in the ad auction process that's that's really the determinant between a successful campaign and a, and a not very successful campaign so as you manage your ads or you manage your content online just make sure you try and balance the positive and negative feedback on your on your account making sure that you get or you answer every single comment that comes in. You answer or respond to every DM. That's why people are writing to you, so that they can hear back from you, not just because they have something to say. And beyond that, you have to also make sure that when you're doing advertising, say on Facebook, make sure your payments are, they don't bounce maybe three or four times in a month. Try and make it as smooth of a transition as possible. That way your ad account doesn't get penalized and you start getting type B audiences. You always want to be getting type A audiences for all the campaigns you run. So for, for this type of kind of uh, insight, we have to have seen the performance on a number of accounts and try to compare what is happening between different accounts and what could be the correlation. And these two factors really stood out on when you try to do the analysis. But we also come in and say there's always room for improvement. You know, you can always put a maybe secondary payment option, you know, on your card or on your on your on your billing. You can always always or you should always manage the engagement no matter what's going on. You should always make sure there's someone who's actively monitoring the audiences on Facebook and trying to make sure that people are 
getting the answers they're asking or people are getting responses to their feedback or their comments or their reviews even their recommendations sometimes it's a five star review and you just leave it hanging so just make a point to always address this kind of uh, inquiries and engagement online and for this type of help we do help businesses get that top-notch kind of performance on their accounts, trying to make sure that their ad accounts are performing as should be, their social media is up to date, their business is working efficiently with the resources they put in. So if you'd like our help for any type of insight in this kind of manner, reach out to us at www.chessclubmedia.com. We'd be very happy to have a conversation with you. My name is Brian, and I'm very happy to just share this kind of insight with you. Stay tuned for more videos coming along the week, and we look forward to just sharing more and more insight with you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur and even as a fellow marketer we we don't mind just having conversations and understanding what new ways are there to make the best out of our businesses for this and more thank you for tuning in i'll catch you in the next one have a good day